If not for the crows, the fields would have been silent. They circled above in the reddening sky, swooping down now and then whenever a suitable opening presented itself. The freshly slain bodies gathered into heaps across the field were a tempting sight. A handful would land on a mound and start exploring a body until another would arrive and send the first group back into the air. The process ensured none would claim much of anything from the dead, leaving them whole for when they were put to the torch. Elliot had seen it many times since becoming Sir Pelham's squire three years ago. The neat mounds were outside the town, between it and their camp. The common brown tents used by the infantry formed the outer part of the encampment, with the knight's white pavilions at its core. The camp was assembled a short distance from the town's walls, but not far enough to jeopardize their hold over it. Not that they had any worries of losing control. The battle was over, and like everyone else they'd encountered, the townsfolk couldn't stand before them. Elliot sat on his simple folding chair, polishing his master's shield. The infantry's tents were shorter than the knights, which, along with the wide paths between key junctions, allowed him a decent view beyond the camp's confines. If not for the mounds of dead, it would have actually been a fairly pleasing sight. But such things were a distraction from his work, and he pulled himself from them. Sir Pillum's shield had seen some heavy strikes today, but Elliot would have it looking presentable for selection. After three years of practice, he could hammer out small dings or buff out small scrapes with ease. It was the polishing that took most of his effort. Yet no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't keep his mind on his work. Soon enough, he was studying the crows.